Hi friends, today we'll be talking about 10 things you can do to save your kidneys from further damage and from future damage. So kidneys, they have a role of basically filtering the blood and they produce urine. But when they get damaged, then the toxic elements in the body, they are not drained out well. So here are some 10 tips that you can follow to keep the kidneys healthy because they are vital for your survival. So the first tip is that we can reduce the salt in our diet. Salt causes a lot of problems like hypertension, increase in the load to the kidneys and subsequently progresses the renal failure. So if you can reduce the salt to as minimum as possible, that can be a life-saving measure, especially if you have an existing kidney disease. The second important tip is that you should reduce the weight. Your BMI should be less than 25 and you should try to approach your ideal body weight. This can be done by eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly and avoiding the fast and junk foods. The third tip that I would like to give you is to drink adequate amount of water. So normally we require about 10 to 12 glasses of water and we should try and ensure that in some form or the other we are able to uh, take that much of fluid on a daily basis. So the, so the fourth tip is to keep your blood pressure in control. Whenever you visit a hospital, get your blood pressure checked. It should be less than 130 by 90 millimeter of mercury. Uh, if it is more, then you should start antihypertensives and follow the lifestyle plans and reduce the salt in your diet. The fifth tip is to keep your blood sugar in control. The HbA1c test today can tell us if we have a tendency towards diabetes. So let's keep the HbA1c always in our checklist whenever we go for a health checkup and we should aim at keeping the HbA1c less than 6. So if the HbA1c is under control and your sugar levels are in control, that can be a big boon or a savior to your kidneys. The sixth tip that I would like to share with you is to go for an annual health checkup wherein you get all the laboratory parameters done and a physician sees you for any gross abnormalities in your health. The seventh tip that I would like to share with you is to avoid or quit smoking. Smoking has been found to be a factor for diabetes, for blood pressure, for high cholesterol, which in themselves are factors for renal disease. So it's the best time to quit, which is now. So I would encourage you to quit smoking as soon as possible. The eighth tip that I would like to share with you is to keep an active lifestyle. This can be done by a half an hour uh, walk in the morning and half an hour walk in the evenings. You can also remain active by standing away from your desk for some time, walking around in the office and taking out time for a small stroll after lunch. The ninth tip that I would like to share with you is to get your blood cholesterol checked. Cholesterol has been found to be deposited in the arteries and the renal arteries, they are as sensitive as the arteries of the heart. So it's important that we check that the renal arteries are safe and secure and getting your blood cholesterol checked is a good way to go about it. Last but not the least, the 10th step is to sleep adequately. It is very important to have at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep and have a nice and sound sleep. So I hope that you'll be able to follow these steps and I hope for a bright future of your kidneys and your overall health. Thank you so much for watching.